Rajkumar R, working as a special educator in the Department of Special Education, All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, Mysore. Directed activities aim at development of joyful learning in all the children with communication disorders so that they can learn in an easy way, comfortable way, at their own pace. Using directed activities, we can make the child learn new vocabulary, synonyms, antonyms, tenses which are very difficult to make them understand. Using directed activities, children learn to use them in their day-to-day -day lives so that they can manage their life in a better way and learn the safety skills which is a major component for their independent living. First, start with simple activities of 1 to 3 steps. Next, proceed on to 5 to 6 steps. Next, proceed on to the 10 to 12 step based upon the capacity of your child. Whenever you are selecting an activity, see that the activity is the need based of the hour for the child. In order to show how to carry a directed activity for children with communication disorders, today I have taken a very very simple activity which all of us can do at home and everybody likes to do during this time. Today I have taken directed activity of making lime juice. For this, okay, whenever you are teaching a directed activity, first teach to the children all the things needed like lime, glass, sugar, vessel, spoon, okay, water. So all these are the original things, natural things which the child can see, feel. Whenever you are teaching, suppose if you are teaching about a lime, we can teach the shape, the color, okay, and the gustate. And we can also teach to the children the safety skills like how to cut, how to hold a knife, how to be careful, what happens if we cut uh, unnoticingly our fingers, what we have to do, what kind of safety measures we have to take, with what we have to cut, how to, how to be careful while doing an activity. Upon the level of the child, you can choose the same activity with then higher end concepts. Like if you are teaching language to the child with a, a lower level, you can ask him just squeezing the line or removing the juice. Same thing to a next level of child, you can tell straining the juice with the strainer, removing the juice with using the strainer. Or we can also show like extracting the juice with the extractor. Same concept with a different level we can teach. So using these directed activities place gives us an equal opportunity to teach the various concepts. After introducing the original things, the natural things, the flashcards, the name slips, next we have to start with the activity. The first thing is any action verbs can be taught while we are doing your activity like washing the line, pouring water into the vessel. We can teach all the sequencing activities of that activity for the child so that he will learn first what comes, next what we do, the next what we do, the next what we do and the final things. After finishing the complete activity, we can tell the child to sequence the activities. Ask the child to see the picture and whenever you are teaching an activity for the child, you have to have a target vocabulary. If the child is very small, okay, he is at his basic level of learning, you can just only do the same activity it can be completed with three steps like cutting the line, squeezing the line, drinking the line. And again we can start increasing and we can change our vocabulary also. Pounding, like it. You can add on with the, the cardamom, okay, the pepper powder, adding salt, pinch of salt. All these things can be added, even the strainer or the extractor, okay. Various things we can introduce to the child based upon the age and the level of the child to whom you are teaching. So extract, squeeze, grind, 
remove so today i have demonstrated to you how to carry about an activity for children with various communication disorders we have seen like using the simple activity of making a lamp use how we can involve the children to teach the various concepts and types of activities as in the needs based suppose if you are making something special in your home ask the children to involve in their in themselves in that activity suppose simple activities like washing the vegetables bringing the things arranging the things then ask them to see the things suppose if you are making tea or coffee in the home how to make we are giving them the self help skills of learning to cook also at the same time we are teaching them to learn the different things while we are doing an activity so make a joyful learning to your children with communication disorders every time you select an activity thank you